Hi, and welcome to my channel. For those of you new, my name is Dave, and I work in financial services. And these videos are a mixture of my journey and development towards financial freedom. They'll be about financial products and are hopefully improving your financial well being so you, like me, can meet your financial goals and aims sometime in the future. Now, let's get into this latest video. So, first of all, what is a recession? It's a period of two consecutive quarters of negative growth recorded by the governments, by the forecasters, shall we say. Now, we aren't there yet, but there are all signs that it will be imminent in the very near future. We currently have in the US inflation over 8% and it's anticipated interest rates will rise by 0.75 basis points later this month. And in the UK, we have inflation over 9%. Interest rates have already been increased over the past few months and the forecast inflation is going to rise to 11% in the next few months. We are already at record rates, not seen for the past 40 years, which a lot of investors and the public will never ever accounted before due to very long periods of cheap money, which has been used in the past to promote the economy all being designed to make people spend money to create a growing and vibrant economy. But this will all change in the next few months. I'm not going to make any predictions. I will leave that to the professionals who may say for the same things year on year on year. And they finally may get it right once in a blue moon and then consider themselves successful. So it's about some key steps you could take to hopefully improve your financial well-being during the coming months. Now the first thing you need to do is be prepared. Don't become a victim or a statistic in the current economic climate. As rates rise, which will surely happen over the coming months, companies will no doubt cut back. It may well be on reinvesting in the business. It may well be on research and development. It may well be on buying other companies. It may well be they give employees pay freeze or redundancies will happen so they can look forward to cutting costs. So first of all, make yourself indispensable. Be the best you can be at that company and in your job role and make yourself so valuable to that company or the business or the employer that you will not be one of those statistics. Now during this period, it may well be some time you take some action. It may well be you improve your knowledge or your skills base. It may be you learn about a new course, subject to improve your improvability or your employability, both now and in the coming months and years, which may well lead to promotion. It may lead to a new job offer. It may well lead to a raise. And when the dust settles down and the market does get some kind of sentiment, it works for a return, okay? We don't know how long this session may last, but normally it is a very short time. Depending on what action the banks and governments take, and hopefully those correct decisions and informed decisions will pay dividends to the economy in the coming months or weeks, and hopefully it will be a short term. It is in the bank's interest to generate greater receipts from taxes, both from individuals and corporations. So hopefully the economy will improve. So, in the coming time, learn about new things outside your comfort zone. It may well be you do courses on social media. It may well be technology. It may well be digital marketing. It may well be you've decided to do them qualifications you've always put on hold. So see it as an opportunity in the current climate to improve your knowledge and skills base. Another option you may well take may well be to create some kind of side hustle to give, give yourself some extra money while you're encountering or while we're encountering record rises in inflation. Costs are going up at unprecedented levels such as your petrol, food, heating. In the UK, the energy cap was risen in April. It's doubled most people's heating bills and it will only increase again in October. It may well be by another five, six hundred pounds if the predictions are right. Now, it may well be you create some kind of e-commerce business okay, online. It may well be you get a part-time job. 
day, working nights, weekends. It may well be you get yourself some overtime, or it may well be you create yourself some kind of brand or niche products. So look in ways you can improve your income. Now, with regard to your income, one thing you may wish to do is create multiple sources of income. Don't be reliant on, on your only income from your current employer. As stated earlier in this video, what happens if your employer encounters financial difficulties? How long will you survive and can you pay your bills? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? Do you have an emergency fund? It's believed the vast majority of people in the UK and obviously in America have less than a thousand pounds in savings in the bank of some kind of emergency money. So avoid debts, avoid credit cards. Okay. How will you cope living paycheck to paycheck in a worst case scenario? I personally have numerous sources of income. I've got a buy to let income. I've got my main employment. I've got dividends from numerous accounts. I've got very little bank interest. I've now got staking currency or cryptocurrency staking. It's not to brag, it's not to boast, but I have put plans in place so I am not reliant on one source of income from my employer. I enjoy my job, my job is safe, but because of the nature of my employer, I am employed on a rolling 12 month contract. So I've took steps in place. In a worst case scenario, my contract is safe, it's secure, never been busier, but I am not reliant on one source of income. So think about how the opportunities you could create are you living paycheck to paycheck, shall we say? Create some kind of emergency fund, create some kind of buffer so you are not reliant on your sole employment as a worst case scenario. It may well be an advantage to invest in yourself. Get into the habit of saving, putting money aside in a bank or building society. Learn to pay yourself first. It may well be you pay yourself on the start of the month or payday. Don't spend your money and save what's left. You're doing it all wrong. Create an emergency fund for peace and security and to alleviate any stress and any unknown expenses. And then progress on to creating saving and investing vehicles. And make all your savings tax efficient. It may well be you start off in a cash ISA, ready money you can access. It may well be a stocks and shares ISA. It may well be you look at your workplace or your private pension. And stick to what you know. It may well be you start on this journey investing in ETFs, tracker funds, simple products. And as your experience grows, you branch out of individual companies, different sectors, different asset classes. It should be a priority what you do in life, okay, to improve your circumstances, whether it's through employment, better jobs, your social status, so you are not living paycheck to paycheck. I personally read self-help and financial books, newsletters, webinars, financial press, etc. I listen to financial podcasts, different YouTube videos to increase my investment knowledge and to learn about current topics and investment events. Now there are a lot of so-called gurus around, marketeers, scammers, social media all promising instant wealth and riches. So do your background checks, do your diligence, and be selective on who you listen to. It may well be you wanna get some kind of mentor or associate. You associate yourself with like-minded people who are already considered successful. Now in the short term, the following weeks and months may appear bleak, doom and gloom due to the negative press being released on a daily basis but by taking positive steps and actions now you will reward yourself massively in future years stay focused stay disciplined set yourself goals both short term and long term so it may well be a priority what are your goals for the rest of 22 see this period as an opportunity of financial development to change your future it may well be the best decision you ever make. Remember, if you like the videos, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you again in the next video.